Good day, I'm Leia, your future nurse. I will show you the process of doing a bed bath. The definition of bed bath, it is a type of bath given while the client is on the bed. The purpose of this is to make the client clean and feel comfortable, to increase well-being, to promote muscular relaxation, and relieve the feeling of fatigue. The needed equipments are wash basin, bath blanket, bath towel, wash cloth, patient's gown, hamper for soiled linen, gloves, soap, hygiene supplies like lotion, powder, or deodorant, kelly pad, and bed pan or Remember, kelly pad is a simple medicine device to funnel liquid secretions and collect it in one area. While bed pan is a receptacle used by bedridden patients as a toilet. It can be used by male or female, while urinal is a urine bottle for male. Let's proceed. First, assess the client's activity to know the patient's ability to perform self-care and develop assistance. Gather the equipment and place it in one area. Adjust the temperature of the room and its ventilation to prevent chills of the patient. And provide privacy by closing the curtains and close the door to allay the fear and anxiety of the patient. Ask the patient's permission, explain to them why it's necessary and how they can cooperate. But if the relatives and the patient says that they can do it, explain the proper procedure and guide them to have an effective bath. Offer the bedpan or urinal for the patient to feel comfortable and allow the continuity of work. Prior to the procedure, please wash your hands, use alcohol or gloves, and remove your jewelries to prevent accidental wood on the patient and spread of microorganisms in your body. Adjust the bed in a comfortable working height position to prevent muscle strain on the healthcare provider. Pull the side rails. Remove the top linen by placing the blanket, providing warmth and privacy to the patient. Before we bath the body, we should do hair shampooing first. It is cleaning the hair while the patient is on the bed. Its purpose is to stimulate blood circulation to the scalp, increase the patient's comfort, and assess hair problems like matted hair or dandruff. Let's follow the procedure. Position the patient. Before you place or position the patient, make sure that the equipments are ready. The shampoo, conditioner, comb, and earplugs. Get the Kelly pad and place it on the head of the patient. Place the blanket on the nape of the patient to prevent skin damage of the nape and wet the back of the patient. If the patient has own shampoo, then use it. But if the patient did not prepare any shampoo, ask permission if it's okay we use the brand that is available in the hospital. So the conditioner is also optional in the patient's preference. Assess the patient's hair. Check if there's a dandruff or wound to avoid it when Ask the patient if there's an inflicting pain on the head part to reduce the pressure when cleaning. Remove the matted hair or tangled hair using a comb, using a comb or your hands. Get the container and put the kelly pad to collect the water. Get the water basin. Place it near you. Check 
the water and it should be warm. Put the earplugs. Wet the hair carefully. And you shampoo. Rub it in your hands. Scrub the hair's patient circular motion. In circular motion. After scrubbing the hair in circular motion, wash it carefully. Remove the earplugs and pat dry the patient. Pat dry the hair's patient using the over blanket in the kelly pad. Get the washcloth and beat it in your hand. Get the water basin and wet the washcloth. Wipe the patient's eyes from inner cantus to outer cantus. In only one direction. To prevent entering the microorganisms and avoiding irritation in the eyes. Do not use soap because it irritates the eyes. Next, clean the face of the patient starting to the forehead, cheeks, and chin. Next is forehead, cheeks, and chin. Clean the nose. Ask the patient if he or she wants to use soap or not. The next part is the neck. Wash the cloth. Knit it. Let's start from back of the ear. Down to the neck. Back from the ear, down to the neck. Using a long, firm stroke to stimulate the circulation. Repeat the cycle to remove the dirt. After that, remove the washcloth and pat dry it. Next is the arm of the patient. Clean the arm of the patient near to you. Expose it. Place the towel under the arm. Now, knit the washcloth again. Wash client's arm with or without soap. Bear client's preference. Use a long, firm stroke. From upper shoulder to hands. Be particular in the axillary. You can directly clean the fingernails in the wash basin. Clean truly between fingers. Now, but dry. Then bring back the arm inside of the blanket to prevent chills of the patient. Then next is wash the upper part. Wash the cloth and knit it again. Use long firm stroke. 
from neck to the abdomen and the umbilical cord. Be particular in it. Use proper draping. Then, pat dry it. Replace the bath water. Turn the patient in a side lying position. Wash the cloth off and knit it again. Then use a long, firm stroke. Starting from the nape, then to the bottom. Be particular in the bottoms. Is pat dry it. We will massage the back of the patient. We have three types of massage. Use lotion or powder for the client's preference. Effleurage. We are starting from the lower part to upper part. The next is the petrissage. Then the coat men. After massaging the back of the patient, return to the original position. Next is the lower extremities. Expose one leg at a time. Then place blanket under the leg. Position it. Get the washcloth. Knit it. Wipe it from upper leg to lower leg. Be particular in the popliteal part and the inguinal part. You can also directly clean the foot and then pat dry it using the blanket. Put it under the top lane to prevent chills. Now you can repeat it to the other side of the patient. Let's move to the perineal part of the patient. Insert the bed pan and the position of the patient is the totem. If the patient or the relative says that they can do it, just guide them and explain the proper procedure. Evaluate the other needs of the patient and document any unusual circumstance in the body of the patient. I hope I have clearly demonstrated the procedure. Once again, your future nurse, Love Leah.